What's going on y'all, it's the Kid J. Nolan here. Hey man, before we get into anything in this video, make sure that you like and share it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get all updates. Hit the post notification bell. All right y'all, let's get into it. All my SoundCloud artists out there or people who are still considering using SoundCloud, although you're using other distributors at this moment, we've got an update that's gonna make them a lot more appealing for you. SoundCloud just unveiled a brand new direct to fan messaging tool. This is a big deal. Now, of course you have to be a SoundCloud for artist member, which means that you have to at least be paying for distribution on SoundCloud. You can't have a free account and access this, but the direct to fan messaging platform will allow music makers to directly message their most engaged fans about upcoming releases, shows, merchandise or other activity. This is a game changer because no other platform out there allows you to actually make contact with the people that are engaging with your music. Now, of course, SoundCloud for years has had the ability to see who's listening to your music, who your top fans are, all of that good stuff, but you didn't necessarily have a dedicated messaging tool. You could, you could try to reach out to them and be weird about it, but now it's a lot easier and it's embedded into the actual platform so that people can perhaps expect to receive a message from their favorite artists about what they got going on. The new tool seeks to address a key issue in the streaming domain, like I was just mentioning, which is that new artists use streaming services to build fan bases, but then you can't really identify who these people really are, mainly because the mainstream platforms wanna tightly control access to their subscribers. Spotify is undoubtedly the biggest platform being used Everybody's trying to tap into Spotify. Everybody's looking at their data, trying to get as much information as you can, demographic, location, age, all of that stuff, but you can't put any names and faces to the actual ears. And of course, they don't wanna annoy subscribers by giving too many people access to reach out to them. However, y'all should not be the ones that make that call. You should be able to opt into it at the very minimum, and that's something that y'all could make available to the listeners. Opt in if you want artists to be able to reach out to you. If you don't like what I send you, if somebody's being really aggressive with spam, Block they ass, just like you would on any other app. The new communication tool is called Fans. They released a blog yesterday with SoundCloud Senior Vice President Tracy Chan, who said, the music industry has a dirty secret. The promise of the music streaming business model is that as an artist, you can get your music to the world and build a fan base. And with that fan base, you can make money selling your fans tickets, merch, music, and make a comfortable living from your art. But here's one thing, that promise is empty. Streaming isn't working for the vast majority of artists. Hallelujah, amazing grace. It's not, especially not for people that don't already have record deals or publishing deals where you're getting some sort of financial exchange for turning in music and releasing it. If you're just dropping songs, man, come on, dog. Unless you're getting millions of plays per month, the financial capability is absolute basura. That's why I have this channel. That's why I'm also teaching people alternative ways to make money off the music through sync licensing, through offering songwriting services, creating music for other people's channels, small businesses, the whole nine. But just releasing your music on streaming is not working for the average independent artist. Let me continue his actual blog before I go off on a tangent. He says, why? Because streaming services won't tell you who your fans are. Instead, they run business models built on selling you access to your fans. And the streaming services aren't alone. Ticketing and merch platforms won't tell you who your fans are either. The dirty secret of the music industry is that these platforms expect you to give them content and sales to fuel their bottom lines, but they refuse to tell you who's listening to your songs or buying tickets and etc. Promises made, promises broken. Couldn't have said it better myself. He continues, that's why we're launching a new product we're calling Fans, which will help artists discover their most valuable fans on SoundCloud. And the fan data to see who's actually engaging with your music, of course, will be determined by indicators like comments, listening behavior, sharing habits, and more. So people that are commenting, people that are sharing your songs, people that are constantly listening to your songs on a monthly basis, those people will be the ones emphasized that you can contact and try to give a little bit more details and updates to them about what you have going on. I think that should be a no brainer. Everybody should have access to that across every platform. Just knowing who your fans are isn't always enough. That's why we're also allowing you to message those fans easily and directly. Say thanks, share previews of upcoming releases, sell tickets, merch, or just open up the opportunity to chat, which I think is somewhat overlooked in the music community. We're so driven by trying to drive sales, trying to get streams that 
Sometimes we miss out on the opportunity to actually genuinely know who it is that's rocking with us, know what they have going on. What are their dreams and aspirations? How y'all could partner up and maybe do business together. I think that's a missing element between the artist to fan relationship at this current moment as well. Regardless of where you are in your career, you can bring your fans in on the journey and let them help you succeed. Chan also added that SoundCloud has been piloting the new tool with various artists and they've had it in a beta mode for quite some time. And now they're gonna allow about 50,000 creators into this beta who are signed up to the Next Pro service. So again, you have to be signed up on Next Pro. You have to be paying in order to distribute your music through SoundCloud in order to have this feature. He says, we're still building and this is just the start. So stay tuned for future updates. It's kind of crazy, man. Every time I do a video talking about SoundCloud, it's kind of wild to me that they were like the first on the precipice of embracing independent artists, giving us a way to get our music out in front of people. They had a great algorithm in the beginning to where when you released music on SoundCloud, you were able to have a super dope discovery element to your songs where new people who don't know you, never heard of you, could hear your music and become a fan. It's crazy how so many different platforms just jumped the fence over them. Over the course of the last 10 years, they kind of fell from grace. I love to see that within the last two years or so, they've made a lot of improvements within the SoundCloud platform. I like to see what Mr. Chan is talking about. I think he's making steps in the right direction. Having direct to fan tools is definitely what artists need today. You need to be able to engage, interact, and know who your people are. It's about building tribes and communities. It's not just about shilling record sales. And I also like that they're building uh, those fan to artist royalty systems where uh, the people that listen to you the most will contribute more to your actual streaming royalties. So that gives people an incentive to really support their favorite artists because the money is not just going to go to the platform. It goes directly to whoever it is they're listening to. They're doing a lot of things right. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if SoundCloud will ever get to the same uh, level of prominence that they were at back in 2010, 2011, but hopefully they can. There's so many different music distribution options out there that it, there's no way that you can make a unanimous decision on what is the best, who's the best or what. I think DistroKid still has a very strong hold on the community just because they came at a time when everybody needed them and they haven't really gone wrong yet. Not in a major way. So we'll just see how SoundCloud continues to develop. Let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. Be sure to like and share this video. And if this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the post notification bell for all updates. Stay tuned for the little end cap video so you can learn more about the Pen Game Elite website for all my songwriters, upcoming artists, etc. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Beautiful people. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed the content. Make sure that you're liking and sharing these videos. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the post notification bell so you get all updates. For all of my artists, my artist managers, songwriters, producers, etc. If you need a little bit of extra help with your career, man, make sure that you visit PenGameElite.com, okay? That's my website and my community for all upcoming rising music creators. I got two books on there, The Pen Game Portfolio Volume 1 and 2. They're going to give you a lot of insights into the music industry, how to monetize your career, how I make my money off of music because I am a full-time artist outside of doing YouTube videos. If you need some direct help, you can also book a consultation with me on the pen game elite website and i also have a pen game elite membership the free tier gives you access to all of these videos that i post on youtube and a community of people where you can engage but i do have the membership plus okay you can join that for 50 dollars a month or 500 dollars a year and i will actually go in and do all of the grunt work for you if you're not registering your songs on your pros if you're not with song trust or the mlc if all your collection agencies and all of that stuff are not up to par or up to date, I will go in there and update all of that for you. If you need help uploading your music to a distributor like DistroKid, United Masters, etc., and you've been making mistakes, you've been claiming content ID on material that you really don't own, hey man, stop stealing people's money. If you do this stuff the right way, you're gonna make it anyway, okay? You can join the membership plus, and again, I will do the work for you, and you're gonna get a free consultation every month just for joining. You're also gonna get the two books for free as soon as you join the membership plus. All right. Much love and respect. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.